Hello, this is Dotche, and today we're going to be talking about Triple E1. So, dun muna tayo sa pinaka basic. So, ang outline for today is charge, current, resistance, voltage, and power. So, charge, symbol, ang symbol niya is Q, and ang unit niya is Coulomb. So, ang formula niya is Q equals E over V, where E is energy. And V is voltage. Okay. So, this is an example. Suppose we want to charge up a 9 volt battery and in increase its energy by 500 joules. How much charge must, must be pumped through the battery? So, yung formula is Q equals E over V. So, ang energy is 500 joules. And ang charge is 9 volt, ah, ang voltage is 9 volts. So that gives us 55.56 coulombs. So take note pala na ang 1 joule per volt equals 1 coulomb. Next, we have current. Ang symbol niya is I and it is the rate of flow of electric charge past the point. So, ang unit niya is ampere. Merong two kinds of current. So, alternating current, yun yung sinusoidal, yung amplitude. Tapos, direct current, yung constant, yung amplitude. Pwede natin i-compute either yung average current or yung instantaneous current. So, if average current yung i-compute natin, we use I equals charge over time. Ang convention pala, capital yung gagamitin if constant. So, sa instantaneous current, we actually use small i equals dq over dt. So, i-differentiate natin yung function ng charge with respect time. So, here we have an example. So, the total charge entering a terminal of an element is given by this function. Find the current of I at t equals 1. So, ayan yung choices. Pwedeng i-pause mo muna, tas i-try mo i-solve. Okay? So, solve natin. Sabi na, ang current, I equals dq over dt. So, differentiate lang natin to. Um, 15 t squared plus 2 yung current. Tapos, i-substitute natin tong t equals 1 dito sa function ng current. So, ibig sabihin, current is 17 milliamperes. Milliamperes kasi millicoulombs yung Q. So, yun yung letter C. Tama ba yung sagot nyo? Nice! Very good! Kung wali, try nyo na lang isolve ulit. So, next we have resistance, and it represents energy dissipation. And ang unit niya is ohm, which is symbolized by omega. Oh my god! Char. So, ang symbol niya sa circuit is yung ganyan, yung mukhang, yan. Yan yung resistor. Resistor. Next we have voltage which is the work done in a moving in moving a unit charge and ang unit niya is volts so formula V equals I R where V is voltage I is current and R is resistance ayan so, tandaan nyo lang yung triangle. Ayan. V equals IR. Okay. Next, we have power. It, it is the rate at which energy is expended. And ang unit niya is watts. So, tandaan nyo tong formula na to. P equals IV. Or, 
if we replace natin yung i nung v equals i r, magiging p equals v squared over r. Ito. Mabilis lang yung lesson. So, ito na yung summary. So, ito yung pinaka-importante. V equals IR. This is actually called the Ohm's Law. Wait lang. Ohm's Law. Tapos, P equals IV. Q equals E over V. I equals Q over T, if average. And I equals DQ over DT, if instantaneous. Yun lang. Thank you for listening. So, merong next video. Ang pag-uusapan natin doon ay kinds of sources, active and passive convention, and yung definition ng terms na node, loop, and mesh na gagamitin sa future topics. Thank you! Don't forget to like and subscribe.